Welcome back to World of Warcraft. We're playing Wrath of the Lich King as a troll shaman, and we're starting the episode in our Rathi Highlands. We're in the town of Hammerfell. After finishing the previous episode, I continued mining around Desolus. We now have a skill of 209. So we're doing really good on that end. Desolus is an interesting area. I was expecting to find more, but at the same time, we accomplished what we when to do there, also have the flight path in Shadow Prey Village. The reason we are in Arathi is because we picked up a quest from a Gromgol base camp called Trollbane, delivered it here to one of the... I think it was Zengu, one of the trolls. It was probably Zengu. And we did have a quest here that we never completed about the ogres, also picked up one from uh, Undercity, we need to go to the farmstead here, Dabiri's farmstead, and deal with some uh, some humans there. I don't remember why the lady wanted their heads, but it doesn't really matter. Let me check the mailbox before we head out. So we managed to sell pretty much everything. Well, not everything but most items, which I'm glad to see. Inventory is looking good. Uh, hold on. There is... What are quests is available here? Strength and hammer. It's still clear to me like yesterday. I need to speak with Dorgan. Go with honor. What is this about? I do remember a bunch of quests. Quest lines sending you to Stromgard. Who you be? Could this be the one? See ya later. Later. Raising spirits. Acquire ten Highland Raptor eyes. What do we need to do? Fight the the tall thrashers. Yeah, I remember those. These are the raptors. You can find them practically everywhere. And what about foul magic? We need ten bloodstone amulets. I have felt the strangest in the air, says the troll. A feeling that simmers in my blood. So he set off to find the source of his unease and discovered uh, Northfold Manor, where residual traces of demonic summoning took place. His blood began to boil. This Might as well do that quest. They offer a decent amount of experience and we can head back to the Undercity because we have a quest to turn in there. Bring the end. Scarlet Monastery too. So we're gonna be busy for quite a while here. Greetings, man. The Sigil of Strom. Get the Sigil of Strom for Zengu. And let me guess, this is also yes. in Stromgard? Would make sense. Deathmaster Dwyer. He probably has a PvP quest. No idea how active this uh, bracket is. We're currently in 30 to 39. Yeah. Should go west, I believe. And there's also a cave near Witherbark Village. The orcs too. Oh, those are level 30. We need to find some of the higher level raptors. Also need to think, in what order are we going to pursue these quests? 
Let's deal with the humans first. God. There we are. Some militiamen. I was fiddling around with some add-ons. We now have... I'm gonna show you. A new Opai ring where I placed all the weapon enhancements. So we have some hotkeys available and we can use Wind Fury, Earth Living, Flame Tongue. I'm not sure if Rockbiter weapon is ever going to be useful now that we have Wind Fury. The others are probably going to be. And the human, this is Fardo, wearing a blue shirt with long sleeves, out of range. Five hundred and forty, forty-seven. I think it was. That's Wind Fury for you. Do we have any of the other named NPCs? This is Marcel. So we found Fardo. I'm gonna place the totems here. Big Wind Fury. We're ready. There we go. Was almost dead though. This is Kenata. Let's try to pull her from as far away as possible. Level 35. So she's probably overseeing the operations here. We're disarmed. How interesting. She's dual wielding. Uh, not bad damage. You can follow the mountains. Even though I can find a decent amount of iron deposits here, we are somewhat past the point where iron is going to help us with smithing well not smithing with mining realistically you only need mithril so iron is still green we may get a skill up we did not it's fine when we move to some of the higher level areas, we're gonna find a lot of mithril. That is a thrasher. So these are a bit more powerful. One quest item. And that is a second one. Is there any point in skinning these? Honestly, I'm not so sure.
Older Gore. So we're going to be fighting ogres next. I could definitely use a heal here. At least they do offer some experience. Let's dive in. It's a nice stone axe. A bit primitive, but I do like these types of weapons. <laughs> Drop the club, apparently. Okay. Had a secondary weapon. Makes sense that ogres can really dual wield. Not smart enough to do it. Or dexterous. And speaking of dual wielding, we'll be able to do that. I think I'm going to grab the storm strike first, though. Then we can move to dual wield and specialization for the extra chance to hit. We don't even have two decent one-handed weapons we can use. It's a real shame because we can complete two dungeon quests that will reward pretty amazing swords. We can really use that as a shaman. Two pieces of wool cloth. Not even sure how I feel about the Searing Totem. It's not doing much. So we're going to get iron and some silver. We're gonna sell the silver. Is a witch doctor. I like the mask. I wonder if we're able to get the mask from Zulfarak. After the event at the pyramid, there is a shadow priest. Although it's a cloth item. We I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to pick it up. Most of the time, I'm going to pass on cloth gear. Unless nobody else needs it. Well, nobody needs it. That being said, if we do get dual wield specialization, that may change. Because we don't have a lot of gear if we want to heal dungeons. Only a little bit. And it's also lower level pieces. Yeah, we'll see. Phalanx Lingings of the Monkey. These are not bad. Warriors Paladins. Can anybody use mail at level... What was that? 29? No, probably not. The hammer may fall. Need to find three more augurs. You can see one here. Healing potion.
That is a troll. There's a Wind Fury proc. And those are the lower level raptors. There's a sigil quest and raising spirits. Oh, look at that. These do not offer experience. Only level 33 ones do. type of green leather armor. Looks pretty weird on that model. Wait just a minute, why are we not getting quest items? Uh, did we not pick up the quest for bloodstone amulets? Maybe we didn't. No, uh, maybe that was a mistake on my part. Either way, we can keep moving. Syndicate Highwayman. Are these the ones that backstab you for a lot of damage? Oh, what is this? Tin. Can I find some higher level raptors? Maybe not around here. Should we go to Stromgard? Can try to get the sigil. We'll need the th sigil of Strom and we're gonna be level 40 after we're done with it. Oh, what is this? The Cavalrymen. Led by Lieutenant Valorgal. Syndicate members. We're going to have to do a lot of fighting here. Poor Searing Totem. Got immediately destroyed. Can summon it again.
gonna keep pulling. Also, like the music here. Let's try to use this fountain. Can we avoid spells? No. I'm not sure what the fountain is made of. We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. We're gonna have to run to them. Someone is sleeping. It's a bad place to take a nap. There's a sigil. So our work here is done. Was expecting it to take a bit longer. Why am I in combat? Either way, let's get out of here. We got the attention of something. No, we lost the attention. Of whatever it was. Looking at that bridge and I'm thinking, wouldn't be funny if a tauren or one of the taller races could try to mount, move under it, they hit their head, they just get stunned for five seconds. Get dismounted. Auto just runs off. Oh, Lieutenant. Isn't looking so good. Probably run into someone on the road. The circle of inner binding. We're gonna fight these raptors. They're the ones we need. Hey, that's a raptor eye. We're definitely in the right place. Look at how many there are. No eyes on that one. More mail from the auction house. Uh, we opened everything, I believe. Unless we managed to sell something just now. Didn't see a message. Then again, the message takes... The message is instant. The mail is going to take over an hour to arrive. Probably happened before I started recording. one. You can skin this one as well.
And that is the eye. And looking at the map, you can see Falder's Cove. This was a an area with a couple of quests. I think there was a pirate ship that somehow ended up there. And now they, they're stuck fighting the Naga. Maybe we can do a couple of quests for them. But then again, we're really close to level... Yeah, level 40. Just hit it. Two points of strength, one point of agility, one point of stamina, and two points of intellect and spirit. Finally getting Storm Strike. It's an 8 second cooldown ability, requires a melee weapon, instantly attacks with both weapons, and the next four sources of nature damage dealt to the target are increased by 20%. Only from the Shaman though. Should definitely make a macro. Oh, we cannot interrupt. was a horrible ability. Thankfully we are done with these uh, Highland Raptor eyes. Let me open the spell book and also create a macro here. We need a new one. We're gonna click OK. The tooltip, of course, is just going to display the ability itself. So we're going to shift click on Storm Strike. No ranks on this one. And I think that's it. Saved it. We no longer need a start attack macro. We're going to remove that. And we are going to play Storm Strike. So we're doing pretty good. There it was. Look at that. We're critting for about a hundred more points of damage with the Earth Shock. Definitely like that. We're doing over 300 points of damage, even without a crit. Although what I'm thinking is, before we go back to Hammerfall, you can also check for a couple of... Um, iron and maybe mithril veins here. I'm not going to the Witherback village. I'm thinking of the area with the ogres. It honestly shouldn't take long at all. Then we can go back to the Undercity. Oh, what is this? True silver. Can we mine true silver? No. Still not high enough. Oh, it would be funny if true silver required 210. But no, it's probably even higher. Uh, maybe I should have checked, but it's fine. Something here, iron deposit. Let's not slack on the totems. Of 
four blood boulder fist magus. We missed. I wonder what the chance to miss is. We have 14 points of hit rating. I even use the mantle, which is a cloth piece, just so I can have higher hit, hit chance. So 14 points of hit rating will offer us basically 2.3% chance to hit. So maybe it's not enough. Who knows? Maybe it's not. Uh, either way, we can now. Oh, we cannot equip it. Never mind. Because we cannot use mail yet. I was looking forward to equipping that uh, helmet. I should really go back to the Undercity, turn in the quest, and then head back to Thunder Bluff. We have a lot of abilities to trim. Well, I'm not sure if we have a lot of abilities, but at level 40, there ought to be a bunch of abilities we can learn. Completely forgot about the totems outside. That is not something you want to do as a shaman. There's another cave and there's also one more iron deposit outside of these. Mining of 210. Witherbark. We're not going to bother the trolls. We did what we came here to do. And then some. Found a lot of iron. Looking at these grunts, I just remembered they were definitely a very popular farming destination, mostly for mages. Even though I saw that a lot in uh, classic hardcore, maybe in Wrath of the Lich King, doing dungeons is the best way to level. If we queue for a random dungeon, we're going to be getting over 5,000 points of experience for each one. That is just under 10%. Just under 10% of a level is just a bonus experience. Oh yeah, no wonder. These are getting pretty popular, especially Scarlet Monastery. They're very short dungeons. Enough mining though. Finally back in Hammerfall. Relax. So raising spirits. That one is complete. We need to hand the Raptor Talon amulet to Gormul. So maybe that's going to cheer him up. 
can also repair. Go forth to victory. We have to speak with Torgan again. We're not gonna do it though. I'm not sure what's going on between these two. We have uh, other fish to fry. Let's sell those. Oh, the gems I might as well keep. Farewell. What do you need for the horde? Call to arms quest. Not offering a lot of experience. And this is the Sigil of Strom. Decent one. That's a good start to collecting the sigils we'll need to remove Troll Kalar from Trollsbane Tomb. Oh, that's another quest line. Broken Sigil. I did these um, Stay away when, of course, people. all the enemies in uh, Stromgard Keep were elites. Pretty long quest line back in Classic and requires constant going back and forth. Without a mount, it's. It's not a pleasant one. Sold mana potion, silver, short bow. Yeah, the short bow. Remember that one. Had it in my bag for quite a while. And here's the idea. Even though I was thinking of going back to Undercity, what I'm going to do instead... No, hold that thought. I'm talking to myself here. No, we are going to the Undercity. Is it faster to fly there? Zug, zug. Uh, maybe. Well. I would just rather use Astral Recall. But wait. No. I changed what my mind I again. We're flying to Taran Mill. Because what we're gonna do is complete the quest called Frostmo, which is north into the Alterac Mountains. And also deliver this Crown of Qu uh, Will quest. We're not gonna pick up the follow-up. Not gonna do it yet. I need to take care of uh, a couple of loose ends and definitely go back to Thunder Bluff so we can train and deliver the Frostmo. What do we need to pick? Frostmo's main. Yeah. Then we can decide where we're going to head. Maybe we're even uh, gonna queue up for a dungeon or two. Now that we reach level 40, which dungeons are available? Uh, pretty much the same ones. Uldaman was available from level 37. Haven't run it in quite a while. It's gonna be interesting. Flying over Durnhold, not seeing a lot of people around. I wonder if everyone's playing uh, classic hardcore again. I mean, I say again, maybe they never stopped. I need to speak to Melisara, the Banshee, Blood Elf, there's also a Troll Hunter, but that is it. Yes.
As for Frostmo, I doubt he's going to prove any challenge to us. We're powerful enough as it is. Now that we have Stormstrike... It feels like we got a chunk of power. Even though admittedly the cooldown is rather long. Would be much better with a... Um, with a maybe 5 or 6 second cooldown, especially since the actual attack is not dealing damage. You simply attack with both weapons dealing normal weapon damage that you would do with auto attack, for example. And that is a carcass we need. Yeti. Winter's Bite. Can't remember what you actually craft with these herbs. I don't think they're very powerful. Uh, powerful, no. Popular. Other herbs in that bracket are pretty good. Goldthorn, I think, is worth a lot. Place the carcass on the flame. Now all we have to do is wait. Could use a heal. That is it. One more piece of heavy leather. Uh, could be worth going a bit north. The ruins of Alterac City. Maybe we're gonna find some more Mithra. I remember that one was uh, full of the members of the Syndicate. Definitely a dangerous place. I'm not sure about the Alliance, but the Horde is only sent there once for a rescue mission. They're keeping a, an Orc, an Orc warrior locked up.
could make our way down there. So these are the uplands. Some lower level snap jaws. And this is going to lead to the crater of Dalaran. Someone died there. Not sure why. Two humans. Nancy and her grandfather. The Misty Shore. All right. I don't think we're going to find any more uh, ore around here. Did pick up some iron. And I think I'm going to end the episode uh, right here. I'll meet you in the Undercity for the next one. So we can complete a bunch of quests. Then head to Thunder Bluff. Train some skills. We'll finally be able to use mail armor. And maybe queue for some dungeons. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the... Pearl Shaman playthrough, and I'll see you in the next part.